we cannot, when the women are gunned down, we, we in bad shape, and we, ne we need to say something. We don't need to say nothing about Parkland or all those other places. Not that that doesn't mean anything, but we have t black women being gunned down in the streets. We, we have a problem. That's you, 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 my daughter, my niece, my grandchildren that that's living. We are under attack, and we need to be more vocal and, and speak out about it. Wherever I go, I make people uncomfortable. Everywhere I go, not intentional, but to wake some people up. Tell them your story everywhere you go. I tell my eyes at a grocery store, North Carolina, South Carolina. I tell people that my son was murdered, and nobody chooses to do nothing about it. Like, we doing it all wrong. And from this day, it's, we're not going to be quiet about it. I'm going to step on nobody's toe, because guess what? I paid the price for this for my son's boy. I paid this debt. You understand what I'm saying? And if I, my child's in the grave, if I, we stay in here and say, I still care about your child, your child, and I still, and I don't have mine. The greatest gift from God is to give of yourself when something has been taken from you. We have voices and, and we're gonna use them. We're gonna stop arguing amongst each other and now we know what's wrong. We're gonna stop criticizing each other, stop criticizing the pastor, stop criticizing the governor. This one ain't do this. We are make change in our own space. And people look at you when you make change and they will follow you. But we have got to be the voices of our children. Running behind, we still sitting here with the murder rate going up every year. We're not going to have our detectives ignore us anymore. The, police, the commissioner not going to ignore us. The mayor, nobody's not going to ignore us. We're going straight to the source. Because guess what? Anybody don't have a murdered child, it's on its way at the, at the rate that we're going. So either you be on the proactive side of it or you be on the reactive side. Because guess what? My father always told us, the two things will keep you. That's the jail and the grave. And that's our message to our young people. We ain't scripting nothing. We just going out. Anybody want to put us in front of like the church where they want to put us out there? We didn't ask y'all to speak. Y'all might be afraid of some of your congressmen. Let us be the people out there with our voices. Right.